Yo guys, so 2020 was an absolute fire festival, but despite that, we were still able to get some projects done and make some videos about them. 12 videos to be exact. That's roughly a video a month. What? You're not impressed? Well now wait a minute. Making videos on YouTube is hard enough. Now imagine having to build something before you can even make a video. It's not an easy life. Please clap. I went from uploading 8 videos in 2019 to 12 videos in 2020. It's only 4 more videos, but look yo, progress is progress. And to celebrate this achievement, I want to do a little rewind if you will, and recap all 12 of the videos that we did together in 2020. But that's not all, as we recap the videos, I'm going to share one exclusive behind the scene fun fact about each video. But wait, there's more! To make the deal even sweeter, I've also recorded a director's commentary over laid on all 12 videos that you can watch after this video ends but you'll have to watch this whole thing to get the link hey stay out of the description <laughs> Let, let's let's just get started january of 2020 we start off the year with running ai on a ten thousand dollar pc now this video is a partnership with the masterful team over at puget systems and nvidia and in which i do the best i could to benchmark their pc with a common off the shelf pc just to try and give the general user an idea of how powerful their pc was but did you know that i received this pc sometime in september of 2019 didn't open it until about october because i didn't sign any contracts at the time and I had no idea what was going on. The video featuring the computer was expected to go up in November, but it ended up being uploaded in January of 2020. Sponsored content just be like that sometimes. February 2020 for video number two, I uploaded recreating Flash in VR. This video was about using an Oculus VR to try and recreate Adobe Flash, but in VR. This was a wild idea that I've had since I first tried VR, and when a documentary company reached out and wanted to do a documentary on an exciting project with me, I decided to try and build this idea. And hats off to Josea, the documentarian for this project. He stayed with me over the course of three days and was mostly just sitting around watching me debug stuff. <laughs> but did you know that if Josea didn't reach out to do a documentary on me, I probably would have never made this project to begin with. In April for video number three, I uploaded the AI strategy project which is basically about building a turn-based strategy game, then training two neural networked AIs to try and outdo each other. But did you know that after some four months of working on this project, I almost scrapped the entire thing due to a bug that was hard to notice within the neural network code? After many hours of training, the bots weren't learning anything meaningful. It was quite depressing. But thankfully, I have some mathematical magician friends, and they were more than willing to help me out with identifying the bug. And it saved the project. But I was... is close to scrapping it. <laughs> video number four in May, I put up the My Channel is Dying video, in which I didn't build anything, but instead went into detail about how I was planning to change my channel moving forward. But did you know that I was afraid of this video costing me a lot of people unsubscribing? And I contemplated for a very long time if I should even press the upload button, but I ended up doing it and it was one of the greatest decisions I've ever made, because it broke some of the perfectionist mental limitations that I put on myself. So. I'm very glad that I uploaded it. June for video number five, I uploaded, I forced the bot to give me advice. In this video, we trained an AI on the comments from the My Channel is Dying video because so many people were offering me advice on what I should do. And <laughs> I knew making a bot to try and make sense of what y'all were trying to say would be an absolute shit show. <laughs> and I mean, what else is YouTube good for, am I right? So I made the video. But what you didn't know is that I made this video because My Channel is Dying was my best performing video at the time. And a lot of people were telling me that that video was the first video of mine that showed up in the recommendations in a long while. So I hoped making this video so closely tied would do the same, but it didn't really work out that well in the end. And the video did okay. Video number six in July, I uploaded AI makes an anime. In this video, I used OpenAI's GPT-3 bot to generate a quirky episode of Dragon Ball Z, and then I paid an animator to animate the script the bot made. But did you know that due to animation costing so much to make, I actually lost a good amount of money on this project. At the rate of the views this video is doing today, I probably won't break even until about 2025. <laughs> Yikes. For video number seven in August, watch this before becoming a game dev. In this video, I detail the highs and lows of becoming a game developer. But did you know that this was an experiment to see if I could repurpose a live stream and make it entertaining enough for your viewing pleasure? I think it did well. So maybe more live streams in a future near you? Hmm? 
In September, we got video number eight. My app suddenly made money after three years. Here, I simply retell a true story that happened to me about how I just woke up to a random $1,000 in my bank account thanks to an old video in TikTok. It's just honestly a feel good developer story. For sure, check it out if you haven't already. But what you didn't know is that this app is still generating a good one to $200 a month since that video came out. The internet is such a bizarre place. You gotta love it. For video number nine in October, we got Infinite Staircase. In this video, I told a quick story about an illusion that I came across and wanted to 3D print, but I had to first make that model so that I could 3D print it. And the final results were shocking enough to me to make a video on it. But did you know that I made this entire video from start to finish in just two days flat? And this is because I expected it to do poorly and I didn't want to invest too much time on it. But it actually turned out to be one of my fastest growing videos, getting over half a million views in just a couple of weeks. YouTube will forever be a mystery to me, man. We got a twofer in October with video number 10, the Quantum Minecraft project. In this video, I do the best that I can to use a quantum computer and show you the potential future of computing but it ended up being a lot harder than I realized. And I ultimately had to pivot and give you a hypothetical example using Minecraft instead. And if you've watched the video, you'll know that generating the largest map took 11 hours. But what you didn't know is that I probably could have half this time or more if I would have just waited to render the graphics until after all the data was calculated. <laughs> we all make rookie moves sometimes. What are you gonna do? November gave us video number 11, the craziest glitch I've discovered as a game dev. In this video, I go over the fascinating limitations of using decimal numbers with programming, and I end up learning how to deal with it. But did you know that I wanted to make this video for a couple of years now? But honestly, I was too afraid, because content like this seems too outside of the wheelhouse for my channel, and thus, both my audience and YouTube recommendations would hate it. But thanks to all the experiments that I tried in 2020, I learned that content like this really isn't all that different. It's important that we try new things, you know what I mean? And finally, we got video number 12 in December, Fighting Games Are Boring. <laughs> in which I make a fighting game that is loosely inspired by chess and try to transform the idea of chess into something a bit more exciting. But did you know I was just about to add local two players some other really cool features, but the prototype was just taking too long to finish near the end. And I honestly did not anticipate the amount of support that this game would get. So I just cashed in early and released it after about seven days of working on it. But to look on the bright side, Ultra Bowders 2? Hmm? Anyone? Maybe, maybe, we'll see. 2020 was one hell of a year for many different reasons, but if there's one thing that I learned, it's that I am time and time again an idiot for thinking that no one wants to watch my videos or play my games. I'm sorry, alright, look, I apologize, but I'm not gonna lie to you all, self-deprecation is one hell of a drug. <laughs> But, but, all right, all right. If you haven't seen any of those videos, they're listed in the description. Please go give me your watch time. And as promised, if you're interested, I also did a director's cut voiceover over all 12 videos released in 2020. So you can click on the link that's also in the description to watch that playlist. But other than that, I wanna thank you all for a great 2020. Here's a toast to making a great 2021. But this year, I think it's finally time that we build that AI for world 